Whatever your obstacle, find a way around it. That's the mantra for one Nashville woman who's helping people in public housing reach their goals. New at 10, News Channel 5's Rebecca Schleicher shows us how the woman's personal experiences help her relate to those she helps. Rebecca. Rory, Alicia Marshall runs one of the 20 properties controlled by the Metro Development and Housing Agency. She cares for hundreds of residents, but it's what she inspires them to do that makes the job a calling. This is Miss Marshall up at the rent office. The first thing you notice about Alicia Marshall <laughs> is her laugh. I love you too. <laughs> She's a public housing property manager in charge of 228 family homes. And she makes house calls. How you doing, Miss Fit? I'm good. <laughs> you can be friends, but she can also be very straight. She keeps clients on top of their payments, will help them budget, answer questions, really do anything needed. We're a motivator, a counselor, sometimes we're a school teacher. Um, we may be a psychologist sometimes. It's whatever they need in order to get through. She knows what her residents are dealing with. Okay. You know I got you. Okay. okay. <laughs> She's been there. At 23, she had son Travel and moved into public housing to make ends meet. It was very difficult, actually. I was maintaining a full load in college, a full-time job, and trying to maintain a house at the same time. <laughs> she says anywhere else she might have been evicted. She wasn't good at budgeting for bills. Here, they work with you. She joined a program that doubles your money for every dollar you save. It helped her buy her first home while she worked on two college degrees. And while it took three tries to land a job with the Development and Housing Agency. You have to be determined. You have to know what you want, and when you want it, go after it. She did it. That's what she preaches to her tenants. It makes you feel good when you have people come back and they say thank you. Um, Ms. Marshall, look, look what I did. Or they'll bring you their degree and say, I got it, I did it. And she's always there to help. But she says what she gives to residents, okay. <laughs> they turn around and give right back. I grab them by the hand and they turn around and grab me too. <laughs> Alicia's property is currently at capacity. To live there, residents must have a steady job and make more than $10,000 a year.